other side of the door stands Vitaly Milanov, architect of the notorious law against what his supporters call gay propaganda. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Would you be willing to talk to us at all? We were making a television program, television a documentary. Program. About what? About young people here in Russia. Here's, there, I can't see young people here. Well, they were. There was a, no, no, uh, I can't see. I would, like to, I would like to find any young people, except, except uh, different faggots. But unfortunately, I can't do it, because the faggots, they hired the security. So we, people of Russia, we cannot enter to see what they're doing there. Probably, I think that they, they're making a homosexual propaganda towards minors. So was your plan to find out what was happening here yeah, at the festival? Yeah, I would festival? like to find. I'm, I'm uh, an official representative, so I'm the member of the city hall. Yeah. I would like to find out what's going on, but I'm not allowed to do it. Because if you're a woman dressed like men, uh, like this one, if you dressed like not a woman, uh, dressed like some <clears throat> faggot, you, know, you can enter. If you're dressed like a normal person, you cannot enter. And do you believe that this is a dangerous organization? an event like Queerfest? Uh, a piece of shit is not dangerous, but it's quite unpleasant to see on the street. Homosexuality is disgusting. Uh, homophobia is beautiful and natural. Homophobia is a natural side of people's life. No. I grew up in a country where it's against the law to discriminate against minorities. I'm struggling a bit here. I'm really surprised that uh, a politician and member of the current ruling party can publicly speak in that manner, and it's okay. He picked a young girl and referred to her as a faggot to her face. Even I feel funny saying that word <laughs> out loud because it's just so offensive. King, the organizers of